So now that you're ready to work on your portfolios, we need to work with the Slice tool in Photoshop to get the image that you want to use for your background created in a way that will make your portfolio very easy to get up and online. So what you see on the screen are the images that I selected. And over here on the side, you can see the different layers. So here are the text, image, text pieces that I have in my image. And then I have the texture that I selected. I have the image that I wanted to use. And then just a background color to kind of go with my scheme. So what I want to do is add slices to this image. And then we're going to save this out in an HTML file. So the first thing we want to do is select the slice tool from the menu. Now you'll notice that there's a little 01 in the corner. 01 is the first default slice. However, it's grayed out, so we don't yet have a slice in our picture. What I'm going to do is right click on the picture and select Divide Slice. I'm going to go ahead and start with horizontal, and in just a moment you'll also see vertical slices. I do want three slices, so I'm going to click OK. Now because I had preview on, you could already see where these slice lines were going to sit. However, that's not where I want them. But all I have to do is click and drag that line to where I do want it. So that's how you can easily resize a slice. Now I need to come back over here to the toolbar and I want the slice select tool. Because I have initial slices, it's time to start slicing up a little bit more. So I'm going to click and you'll notice that this turned to blue and now I have just a brown line around slice 2. That tells me that slice 2 is the slice that I'm working with. Again, I'll right click, divide slice. This time I want vertical slices and I want three of those. OK, and I can drag my lines where I want them. But now I need some more slices. I want to set my menu apart so that it's easy for me to make those text lines into hyperlinks. So again, now I want slice three and I'm going to divide it and I want to stick with my vertical slices and I do want three of those. I'm going to put one on the edge of my menu and another on the right edge and that will work very well. So now I want to select slice four and it's time to divide this area up. So I'm going to go ahead and divide it again but this time I want horizontal and I'm going to go with eight slices and you'll see why in just a moment. So this I want to drag just below my last link and I basically want to set each slice point in a way that lets my text links be centered within the slice. So that's what I have to do. Individually grab each one and because the menu isn't precise, but I want my menu items to be centered, I needed an extra slice in there. So now I have a total of 14 slices in my image. And this is exactly what I want for my website, because I'm able to now have these individual text lines be links when we save this out and load it up into Dreamweaver. So what I need to do at this point is come up to File. We're going to save it for the web. And I'm going to go ahead and select a JPEG preset. JPEG high is fine. I want to make sure that Optimize is checked. Now it's just outside of the scope of this box, but I'm going to click the Save button. And when I do that, I get the Save Optimize dialog. I want to make sure that Format says HTML and Images. Settings should be your background image. Slices should be set to All Slices. And I'm going to save this as index.html. I'm going to put it in that root folder that I'll be working in for Dreamweaver. And just hit save. Now, when I go look in Finder, I can see in my slice folder that there's my index file. And now in images, I have 14 separate images that will load up just right when I go to edit this index file in Dreamweaver. And that will be our next activity.